The pictures coming out of Australia of burned and dead wildlife are heartbreaking. San Diego Zoo Global is helping save the animals and habitat down under. So far, researchers have saved a dozen special koalas. News 8's Alicia Summers reports from the San Diego Zoo with the effort. Researchers with the San Diego Zoo are in Australia right now helping out the wildlife, the koalas in specific, after the deadly and devastating bushfires, and they need your help. We got permission from National Parks and Wildlife and went in in front of the fire front to pull out some healthy individual animals from Canangra Boyd from this disease-free population. San Diego Zoo Global has researchers like Dr. Kelly Lee helping recover koalas in the Blue Mountains of Australia. So far, they have saved 12 that were radio tagged back in 2015. These populations have got the highest genetic diversity in the country as well. So the World Heritage Area in the Blue Mountains has a really important population of koalas that we want to conserve for the future of the species. Over over the last few weeks, millions of acres of habitat have burned, countless animals have died. The hardest thing for me is actually to see them drinking water. Koalas don't actually have to drink water. They get their moisture from the eucalyptus leaves. More than 15 million acres have been affected so far, with bushfires joining together in some areas to create mega fire events. To give you an idea of the scale, these are fires that have burnt almost seven times the amount that was burnt in the Amazon this year and three times what was burnt in California last year. So we're, we're looking at a scale we've never seen before. This is an environmental disaster. The zoo says some species like the koala may be pushed to the brink of extinction and need immediate help. So we're wanting to put out water stations for koalas and other arboreal wildlife like greater gliders that really get hit by the heat stress. Some are dropping dead out of trees at the moment and also for other wildlife including wallabies and kangaroos. Monetary donations are greatly needed. The koalas are being helped first because it's still too early to tell how much will be needed elsewhere. If you would like to donate, we've posted a link on our website. Just visit cbs8.com and click on the hot button. Back to you. All right, thanks, Alicia.